More than 3,000 Valley residents have signed a petition protesting a rate hike by Allegheny Power. The utility was granted a nearly 30% rate hike last July. This month, an interim 6% rate hike took effect. Protesters are headed to the State Corporation Commission in Richmond tomorrow to make their voices heard. Allegheny Power told WHSV today that prior to the increase last July, rates were basically frozen since 2000. And joining us now to discuss tomorrow's visit to Richmond and the issue is Sandy Wood, who is the Family Assistance Chairperson for Page One. Sandy, thanks for joining us. Oh, I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Now, Sandy, explain briefly for folks that aren't familiar with Page One, what is Page One? Uh, Page One is a nonprofit organization that's been in existence for 30 years in Page County. It serves the all the families of Page County with food and financial assistance. Okay. Now, obviously, you see the impact uh, with your clients from these rate hikes, I guess, right? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It was been, the spring was, was just absolutely shocking how high the bills were um, and the termination notices, which is all that we deal with is termination notices. And, um, you know, our request for electric have increased almost twice what they were last year. Electrical help? Yes, with the electricity alone. We also help with, you know, rent and fuel and water and so forth. But the electric, I've never seen such high bills. And, you know, Page County had almost a 20% unemployment rate. Mm-hmm. And I guess some people say that it's gone down, but I sure have seen a lot of people whose uh, employment benefits have either run out or their uh, hours have been cut. And that's still happening. We have a lot of plants in the area, and they're cutting back and also laying people off. Now, tomorrow, explain, uh, a group of folks um, is taking uh, this petition that has been signed by over 3,000 people to Richmond to present to the State Corporation Commission? That's correct, yes. uh Um, Actually, uh, because of my involvement in page one and what I saw and my feelings for the clients that we serve there, uh, I got together with some other concerned individuals as a private person, private individual, and uh, put together a petition. And we started getting signatures from uh, all over the county to try to do something. You know, I understand energy has to change. The way we do energy has to change. I can understand even what Allegheny's saying. I'm just looking at the conditions that are in Page County, uh, how fast these rates are going up, and how it's impacting the people that we're serving. Now, uh, I talked to Allegheny uh, today, Allegheny Power, and they made a point, uh, a valid, I guess a valid point, that they said from before last year's rate hike, they were basically frozen. The rates were frozen from 2000 to 2008. So I guess from that standpoint, even though obviously this rate hike is, is big, um, you know, how do you respond to that, that they really didn't get any rate hikes for eight years? Well, I mean, obviously, as of last year, there's a downturn in the economy. Mm -hmm. (laughs) That's just a fact. And Page County's been hit, what, were they, you know, almost the highest unemployment in the state if you consider the total number of people in the workforce. Mm -hmm. And just without that, without the employment, without the jobs, when you increase something 30% and even higher, they want another six and a half, that has a great impact on the well-being of uh, a great number of individuals in Page County. Mm-hmm. Is part of the answer maybe more help from the government for people that are in distress? Well, you know, I, that has been on cross my mind. Social services, to me, uh, could be given some special consideration in, in these days and times. And I know that they are... Last winter, they were they were given more funds for fuel. Um, you know, they're so restricted in how they can help people. We find that the general population of general low income population, including our elders who have like seven hundred dollar incomes, have to come to us. What would you like to see done? What would you like to see come out of this? I would like to see a rollback on the six and a half percent until so that people can start to adjust and and maybe things can start changing a little more in the economy and people can have, you know, there needs to just be a little more time and not so fast. All right, very good. Well, I want to thank uh, 
uh, Sandy Wood, who is the Family Chair, Assistance Chairperson for Page County. Th so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank okay. you so much. And now let's send it back to Kay.